Strengthening the, the security at the southern border, of course, is one of the priorities of the, the new Freedom Caucus chair. Uh, the Congressman Bob Good, he says he's going to use every means at his disposal to, to try to fi uh, fix the situation down there along the southern border. And joining us now is the Congressman from the state of Virginia, Commonwealth of Virginia, rather, right? Correct. Commonwealth of Virginia. Don't want to mix that up. Uh, Congressman Bob Good, thanks for being back here on the Hill. Appreciate the time, as always, sir. Great to be with you again. Thanks for having me. Yep. Um, so, as you know, in Washington, uh, we have been following this, this potential deal, border security, Israel funding, Ukraine funding. And it, it's in the hands right now of the Senate, right? Republican uh, negotiators in the Senate are, are, are doing as they wish. Uh, I wonder what the must-haves are, as you see it. You're going to be the head of the House Freedom Caucus uh, here in a couple weeks. I, I wonder what your must-haves are, what your group's must-haves are when it comes to the southern border. Very simply, the House has done its job and passed the strongest border security bill in history, codifying into law the great policies that were working under President Trump. It was a bill primarily authored by Chip Roy and Andy Biggs of the Freedom Caucus, and it does things like reinstate, remain in Mexico, complete the border wall, end catch and release. Uh, detain or return policies are reinstated. It is a strong border bill. It has the policies that were working codifies them into law so a future president couldn't just change it by executive action. That is the House's position. It's been sitting there over in the Senate for months now, and Speaker Johnson uh, has said, and, and he must hold the line and say, this is the House position. The Senate should pass the H.R. 2 bill. We're not going to consider any other phony, pretend, weak, milk toast, watered down, pretend border security that just uh, process, sends more resources to my workers you know, to bring more illegals in the country more quickly. That's the House position. That, along with performance you, metrics, where there's demonstrated okay. reduction in this massive, unprecedented flow. You mentioned Donald Trump. Uh, you, of course, right now, though, are, are not supporting Trump in the, in the primary. You're supporting Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis uh, said this of, of Donald Trump the other day, essentially saying uh, he didn't go far enough on the border wall, and certainly Mexico did not pay for it, which was his major campaign promise. DeSantis, quote, I think he got distracted, and he didn't do it on day one, but two, he didn't utilize the levels, uh, levers of power that he had. Is Ron DeSantis right there, Congressman, in his criticism of Donald Trump? Well, I won't get in between those two on that in that respect, but I just will say that there was illegal, illegal immigration was largely eradicated under President Trump. It was at very low man, uh, measurable levels. Uh, the previous Department of Homeland Security, Jay Johnson, had said if we ever got to a thousand a day, it would be a disaster that uh, of unprecedented proportions, and it would be unmanageable. Now, as you know, we're in the tens of thousands per day under this president. This president's policies are the enemy. Uh, president. Trump, we need to build on what he did by codifying into law, and the House is trying to do its job accordingly. I know you say you don't want to get b between those two congressmen, and, and I understand it, um, but you are going to be leading the House Freedom Caucus. Uh, and there have been some concerns among those, uh, or at least around it, I guess, um, and maybe even inside, that how can you lead the House Freedom Caucus if you're not backing Donald Trump? Here was Marjorie Taylor Greene. I know she was kicked out of that group, but she said this <laughs> about you. She said, quote, uh, you're basically a traitor. You had no loyalty to President Trump, who had endorsed him, supported him when he ran for Congress in 2020. What would you say to those who say, you know what, you got to back Trump to lead that group? Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene's upset because Kevin McCarthy got removed from uh, from the, the speaker position. She backed him unconditionally. She's upset because she got kicked out of the Freedom Caucus. But the bottom line is President Trump did a great job on immigration, did a great job on the border. Governor DeSantis did a great job in Florida uh, trying to fight for that to that effect, sending National Guard troops to the border, um, busing illegals out of his state up into the northern states where they've said they want to be sanctuary states and sanctuary cities. Both would be a tremendous improvement over this current okay. border invasion facilitated by this president. This is the greatest harm ever done in potentially the United States by any president in our history. All right, Congressman Good, uh, got to leave it there. I know you, I'm not sure if you could see it, but a live look uh, at Eagle Pass, Texas, just part of the uh, situation down there at the southern border. We'll have you on, on back in the new year. Happy New Year, sir. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.